morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I wanted to take the time to go into a deep dive into these logistic quest lines. Um, obviously, I have talked a little bit about of it um, and sort of given a general overview, but now I really, really want to tackle it. So when you first accept the quest right there from um, Windcaller uh, Calden, you have to then sign those papers. That paper has a three-minute cooldown. So every three minutes, essentially, you can get a new quest from here. Now, when you're doing logistics quests, it's really, really um, important that you prioritize. And th this is something that I messed up and I explained wrong in the overview because I sort of went more towards a follow-up quest line and that was wrong and that was wrong because i was unable to then get um the pieces that i needed and now we're getting attacked by a wasp here which is pretty annoying um but we should be able to kill it i'm in my running gear so it'll be a bit annoying but i don't think we'll have a, any trouble at all really they are elite so they can be pretty uh tough sometimes but you know easy peasy um Anyway, if we come back here, we're headed to... I'm Horde, so I have to go to Hive Recall in order to do it. Um, if you're Alliance, you just go over here to Hive Zora. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. Fight an Elite, get your uh, quest done. Um, and the important thing is is that there are a bunch of them that are initial. So, like, it's only from the logistics one. And then after you do those, you get these briefing quest lines. Um, I finished mine yesterday and got my 20 uh, that I was going for, but I did mess up a bit. So as you see, it spawns this Hive Regal guy. Um, once you kill the Hunter Killer, then you only have to just walk up to um, Krug right here. And then you're able to turn it in, get it signed. And then now this is how you initially get a quest. So you do this, you get your paper signed, and now you just have to go back to the scenario and hold. Talk to the same guy that you talked to. And easy peasy, just like that. Um, when you're doing these, so when you initially accept a logistics quest line, you have the option to get a few things. And these are the five ones that you can get. You can get the briefing five, you can get briefing 10, you can get briefing um, six, you can get briefing four, and you can get briefing seven from these quests. And now each of these will allow you to um, do a certain materials. So the briefing five is scrying materials. That's a large brilliant shard, a large radiant shard, and a huge emerald. Um, and then that rewards a follow-up assignment, which we'll get into in a moment. We have briefing 10, which is bandages for the field, which will give you, which you need 30 heavy rune cloth, heavy mage weave, and heavy silk. This one is probably the best one to do um that or the scrying because it's easy to get those materials doesn't cost too much gold um if you have first aid you can just make them all the patterns are super easy to do it takes about five minutes to make all those band-aids um so it's pretty um good um and then when you come in here to turn this in you can accept anyone that you want i'm actually done with logistics so i'm gonna take combat here because i plan on doing those but that's that doesn't really matter um when you were to, if I was to take a logistics one, it would open like this. You just click an envelope, and then that envelope would contain one of these briefings. So, like briefing six, let's just pretend that I got that one. So, that one is three massive iron axes. So it's not too bad. Um, I just see iron axes quite expensive. They're on the AH for like 20 gold each, and yes, people buy them. It's kind of insane. Um, and then, so we come to number um, four, and that is the Hor uh, the Orgamar Legion needs mojo. That is going to be eight oils of immolation, six flasks of big mojo, and six powerful mojo. This one is one of the most expensive ones just because people put them up there for a lot of money. Um, and then the final one is the armor kit. So I would personally focus on band-aids. You're going to need eight um rough and uh, eight rugged armor kits and eight heavy armor kits and that's what you're gonna use to turn in now those are the five basic quest lines now you, while you turn those in you can uh get what's called a follow-up assignment so this is like if i were to turn in the band-aids or the massive axes quest 
Okay, so then this one came into briefing task three. And as you saw, my guy said I can't carry any more of those. That's because I can't. I can only have one of these. So I already have number three in my bag. So I would accept this quest. And then that would want ten grinding stones. So it wants ten dense, ten solid, and ten heavy grinding stones. Um, the, these missions are really good if you're someone like me who has the professions. Like, I can literally make everything that we have mentioned thus far other than the armor kits. Um, that's just because I don't have a leather worker, but this is a great time to make a lot of money. Now, the other optional, or the other quests that you can get are, um, as you saw, the grinding stones. That's one of the follow-ups. Then you can get survival kits, which want four globe of waters, four powerful anti-venom, and four smoke desert dumpling. That one's actually quite cheap, because globe of water are super cheap, powerful anti-venom, that's easy to make, and a lot of people are getting that just for their AQ quest lines. Um, but it takes one huge venom sack to make, nothing too big. Um, and then the smoke desert dumplings, that's a quest that you can get literally here um, at the inn. Um, and is sandworm and smoothing spices so you can just go out there and kill them Obviously, you can buy all of these things off the auction house if you just want to throw your gold at it um, That's completely up to you then we have uniform supplies Which is one moon cloth two bolts of rune cloth and one iron web I honestly did a few of those just because I had a lot of moon cloth sitting on me and I wanted to get the 20 done as soon as possible um, and then there's boots for the guard, which is three ornate mithril boots. You can turn that in. Um, those are selling like 12, 13 gold a pop right now in my auction house. And then we have extraordinary materials. Now, this is the one that I sort of focused on a lot. Um, it's two enchanted thorium, two enchanted leather. Where I was mistaken is I thought you could get this quest off the bat. I did not know that it had a follow-up prereq. And that's what we're doing with this um, deep dive into the logistics quest line. I want to make sure you guys understand the succession of these quests and why it is so important. Because if you just focus on the secondary materials, you're going to come here, you're going to do it a ton of times and realize you're not getting the quest. And then you're going to be like, oh crap, I need some base materials. So I literally could only turn in the axes and then I had to get the follow-up ones. Now, a very, very, very important thing to mention is there is one unique follow-up quest that everyone needs to get if you're going for the logistics side of things with the stalwarts battle gear and that is going to be this um quest right here the ultimate deception now this can only be uh got from a follow-up assignment envelope as you saw me open um obviously this thing right here obviously it's going to be logistics briefing three we've already seen that um but when you open this um you have a chance to get the assignment that i am on for the ultimate deception this takes briefing 11 which i have right here do not do not delete the briefings after you accept the quest no matter what they are then you will not be able to turn it in you will have to get another envelope or you can go to your item store and do that I learned that the hard way yesterday. I accidentally deleted one of them uh, trying to manage all of these envelopes and stuff. But if you don't think you're going to do it or if you just want to hold on to it to have one of each, whichever way you want to go about doing it, just be organized and don't make mistakes like that. Uh, obviously, Blizzard's awesome in the fact they have a lot of undo your oopsies um, capabilities, but still, it can be a real, real pain in the butt. So just, you know, be smart about it. And then, um, yeah, some people, some dude in my guild, his name's Dropman, he's turned in 69 of these, spent about 2k gold just to get this quest. I luckily <laughs> got the quest twice in getting 20 of them. I literally got it on my third one, so I was super, super lucky, and... Um, yeah, I just wanted to go through all this and make sure you guys understand um, how the logistic quest works. You have the five basic ones, which are your raw materials that you sort of want to gather. And then those can snowball into follow-up ones. The biggest problem is you don't know which follow-up ones you're going to get. You know, you can prepare all you want. Um, and you just might not get any. I think I only got like two of the enchanted leather and thorium bar ones, and I prepared the crap out of that and was so ready for it. So, you know, it really, really just depends, and there's a lot of stuff that goes into that one. Um, if you're going for exalted, I do believe that is uh, the thing you need is through a combat quest, um, but we'll get into that in another uh, video. Um, but 
all in all, just want to make sure you guys understand this as much as I understand it now. Um, you know, I thought I knew about it when I made the video uh, yesterday, but it turns out I did not, and I made a lot of mistakes. So I wanted to take the time to go over this so you guys don't make the same mistakes when you try this. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.